Hey Turtle Squad, Kamei Turtle here, bringing you another video. Today we are not doing something directly furry related, but more YouTube related. Today we are taking a look at the the for sub phenomena, short for subscriber for subscriber mentality. This is something you will see when you join any YouTube support group online. Doesn't matter if it's Facebook, Discord, Twitter, anything and everything. That is a YouTube support group. Now, I'm a small YouTuber. Looking to get that little bit more reach on my channel. So, I'm in several different groups. Some directly furry related and some YouTube related groups. I'm going to give you my opinion on the sub for sub mentality after watching a video by one of my buddies, by Shrapnel Varger, who let me use his video to comment on. It'll be playing right over here for you to watch along. And if you want to watch the full length video, it'll be in the description below. Okay, let's get a show on the road, shall we? Remember, I want to give my opinion at the end of it. Hey you all, thank you very much for tuning in today. I hope you're having the most excellent day today. I just love that intro of his. So today I want to talk to you about a rather irritating thing that happened to me recently uh, when I was sharing one of my videos around in local groups just to get, you know, a little bit more reach on one of my videos. So like most YouTubers, I am trying mm -hmm. to grow my YouTube channel, get it out there, get it seen by new people. Mm -hmm. um, so I am sharing it in, you know, a fair few groups, usually the furry groups like Furry Official, but sometimes in other groups like YouTube Beginners and YouTube Creators Corner, uh, just to get, you know, a little bit more reach. And mm -hmm. I was in one of these latter groups, one that specifically says no sub for sub in the rules, where I posted my uh, link, you know, with little descriptions, and mm -hmm. I did get mm -hmm. one really good response almost straight off the bat from a fellow furry YouTuber. Uh, shout out to Cammy the Turtle, dude. Hey, dude. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, you rock. I love your channel. Wait, 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 wait. What was that? Let's rewind that back. Uh, shout out to Cammy the Turtle, dude. Hey, dude. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, you rock. I love your channel. Booyah! Shout out! You know, and, and I really appreciate having that response, you know, that really good response. But straight after that, I get mm -hmm. two people dropping links, mm -hmm. you know, to random videos on their channel with no yeah. description, no talking. The random link dropping it is fairly annoying. And I'm thinking to myself, why are you dropping links to your shit in a post that I made? You know, honestly, I have no time for these low effort flyby postings in in response to my original post, so it was like, what, what the hell are you doing? I'm, I'm not going to look at your shit. And I guarantee no one else in this group is going to look at your shit because you, you just fly by posting on someone else's post. But that's not the only annoying response I got to my thread. So this one dude comes in and he drops two screenshots of one of my videos and he's, he's liked the video and he's watched about 10 seconds of the video. And he drops these two sub things and I notice it, it says he subscribed to me, which, you know, okay. But then he posts another comment saying, done. And I'm like, done what? Because to realize this dude is, has done this because he's expecting me to go over to his channel, subscribe to him, watch 10 seconds of one of his videos, like something, you know, some sort of, you know, sub for sub. sub. I don't want to subscribe to your channel because if I subscribe to your channel, and I looked at his channel, and it's, it's absolutely no interest to me. You know, I, I am a furry YouTuber. I enjoy furry YouTube. I enjoy gaming YouTube, that's why, you know, I enjoy things that my mate Greg puts out. I enjoy a great many things to me, so me subscribing to that channel would just be a dead subscriber. You would never get any views. And likewise, having this dude subscribe to my furry YouTube is pointless to me because, you know, he's watched 10 seconds of one of my videos. And yes, that's another view in the bank, but it's also a 10 second watch. We're just screwing up the algorithm for that video. That's telling YouTube. This person only watched 10 seconds of this video. It's clearly not a high quality video. Let's not show it to anyone else. And looking at his channel, I think he does this a lot. You know, I think this is something that a lot of people do because he had 10 times the subscriber count. I had more than 10 times. He currently has over 2000 subscribers and I got what, 159 right now, I think. And yet my videos are regularly getting more views, more quality watch time than his videos because I guarantee 95% of his subscribers are just people who he's gone up sub for sub with, they've looked at one of his videos and done nothing else. So it's like he's got over 2,000 subscribers 
and he's getting less views than a guy with 150 subscribers because none of his subscribers are real. They're just sub for subs. They are doing nothing for him. And they're not going to do anything for him in the future because those people are either bots or have absolutely no interest in him. I've watched some of his videos just to see what's going on and he is putting quality effort into him. It's no interest to the people who are subscribed to him because half of them are in a completely different field. And that's what I want to get at with this video. Sub for sub does not work, okay? It, it just doesn't. At best, if you're both in the same field, subbing for each other because you enjoy each other's content, that's fine. But just randomly sub for subbing on some bloody forum somewhere ain't gonna do shit for your channel. Uh, you know, it's gonna screw up your algorithm, make you have a bloated subscriber count. You'll never get to the, you know, 4,000 watch hours needed for monetization because no one is watching from your subscriber list. It's something that irked me greatly when I saw this because it's like, this guy comes into my thread and he's just expecting me to do something, which for one was against the group rule, so I might add that, but two, isn't gonna help me and isn't gonna help him. But there was this expectation like, done. Okay, that was Shrapnel's video. Once again, links to the full video in the description below. Now for my opinion on sub for sub. The YouTube groups are great for several things. Asking advice, getting feedback, finding people you want to collab with, or just finding stuff outside of your normal interests. These are all good points for the YouTube group. They are not really great for just giving you a ton of views. But that's not the point of this. The point is sub for sub. So let's say Joe Schmo came on and said, Hey, sub for sub. Subscribe to my channel, I'll subscribe to yours. Okay, okay. Let's see what you got. It's a channel all about reviewing beds. That's all it is. Oh yeah, that was interesting to some people. It has no interest to me, personally. So, if I subscribe to his channel, I might watch a video on occasion. But by and large, my subscriber number is just sitting there gathering dust. I'm not doing anything for him, by and large. And if he doesn't like furry content, then chances are he will not be watching my stuff either. So he'll be doing nothing but inflating my subscriber numbers. Asking people to come on to check out your video, give you feedback is one thing. Asking for help, for ideas, or what do you guys think about these edits? The fly-by-night posting of links without any description is just lazy. The guys who come on and say, done, after subscribing to you, are quite literally demanding that you do it. Have time when you meet a fellow YouTuber on the street and you scrap to each other's channels. Chances are, you won't be getting much of any interaction beyond that first a little bit. It'd be great if you did. Don't get me wrong. I am sincerely hoping that it works for you. But these type things work best, as Rapmo said, when you enjoy each other's content. So my personal opinion is sub for sub mentality needs to go. All right, this was way out of left field for me. So you can expect more furry content from me in the future. That being said, if you have any interest in more of my videos, let me know what you would like to see in the comments below. If you want to see my last video featuring shrapnel, you can see it linked in the cards above and description below. And if you just want to see another one of my videos in general, my last full length video will be pinned in the comments below. Be sure to check it out later. That being said, if you liked what you saw and want more, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notification when my next video airs. Leave a like or maybe a comment. Share it with friends, family, other furry friends you might know. And I hope to see you all next time. Johnny!